I'm sorry, this baffle and it's fucking ridiculous. Wow. This is different. This isn't in any order. Like I said, these are the games that I just played that brought me up to this. So this is not I'm trying to say that Sonic is the best and then whatever I say later on is the worst. It's just these are this is what these are the games in order I can remember. So yeah, sorry about that. Back to the video. Hey guys, Trius here. Hope you enjoyed this one. So yeah, this is a different this is a different perspective. You don't usually see me on like this angle, like this kind of close up. Sorry in advance if the microphone quality on this one's a bit different. I don't have an adapter for my camera yet. But yeah, I thought I would just have a bit of a story time, so to say, so, so to speak, sorry. So also, I'm looking into the preview, so that's why I'm not looking directly at the SR. I need to get used to that. I thought I would just go through one of the, like, the games that I played when I first started that's got me to here. Because as you guys know, I'm very into playing my games. <laughs> like, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, you know I like to play games. Like, what basically progressed me to the point that I have these, these, Three games, you know, like, like what? What got me to this? What got me to this? But yeah, before I started playing Call of Duties, and I played a bit of GTA, I'm not great at it. So I thought I'll go through the games that I started playing and the ones that I loved throughout the years that got me to this situation where I decided I wanted to record games, put them on YouTube, add commentary, and also like progress me to the point that I'm even doing this vlog. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through five games throughout the years. Like they're not all on one console, they're not all on PC, they're all spread out. These are the things that kind of got me into playing games. So I've got to go over the very start. So let's start off at number one. Obviously you're going to see clips in the video, but or like at least the logos if I can't put the actual clips in there. But basically the very first game that I can truly remember playing was... It was Sonic the Hedgehog. That's why if you ever ask me who's my favourite, Sonic or Mario, I'm always choosing Sonic because Sonic was the one that got me into it. Like he was a green, he was a green. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> know your goddamn characters. Probably triggered so many people with that. <laughs> the blue hedgehog that could spin into a ball and was moving faster than anything I've ever seen. And, and when I was young, I used to love running, so it was just well within my like loves and likes. But yeah, so you start off on Sonic on the Sega. I don't think it was the Mega Drive, but I think it was, I had one of the Segas. And I think it was the Mega Drive because I didn't have the Genesis yet. I had the Sega Mega Drive. That's a lie, and I played it on that. It was just, I don't even know how I even got a hold of it. My mum just kind of giving me one day and was like, here. But I, I think one of my cousins or something was, was getting a newer one and they just thought, instead of throwing it away, like they just give it to my, uh, to me. So I was like buzzing, I'm not complaining. But yeah, Sonic, awesome game. Like, it set a generation, generations really, like. But yeah, number two, that I'll probably have to go to Pokemon. The very first Pokemon, and this is on handheld, so of course, so like, the very first Pokemon that I can remember playing was Pokemon Silver, which is weird because obviously I'm older, I'm 23, so I'm older. I think actually Pokemon came out on my birthday, I like the game, but the game version, 27th of February. Remember that? But yeah, like, so I'm, I'm pretty much the exact same age as the original Pokemon games, though, for the like, the Europe, European and US releases anyway. And I played Pokemon Silver on my cousin's Game Boy once, before I even had a Game Boy. And then I was begging my mom, like, can I get a Game Boy? I want to play Pokemon. I really want to play Pokemon. Please get me a Game Boy. I want to play Pokemon. To the point that it came to the, it got to the point when the Game Boy Advance came out. So the first Pokemon that I actually fully played and owned myself was Pokemon Emerald, which was the best, the absolute best Pokemon. That game kept me going for, I have no luck. I have no idea how long really, but Pokemon Emerald was the one, that's where my favourite Pokemon comes from as well, Blaziken, Blaziken was awesome, like it starts off as a little egg and it turns this like behemoth that can like fly and kick you off a cliff, it's fucking awesome. So yeah, Pokemon definitely goes in second position, well I mean like as the first, one of the first games I ever truly kind of got to grips with and like really got into number three. That would have to go to one of my favourite titles ever on the PlayStation 2 that just kind of solidified my love of playing kind of like RPG style games and I know I don't play many of them on my channel but like I do love RPGs 
uh, RPGs to a certain extent, like hack and slash, like which I'll get onto in a second. But that has to go, go to the one that only that is Kingdom Hearts. I remember being at my nan's house when I was I can't remember. I just don't want to do the math. But I remember when Kingdom Hearts 2 was on, like it was on an advert, and me and my little brother were sitting there watching it, and we were like, "That looks fucking awesome. That looks intense." Mickey Mouse is in it, Goofy, Donald, this random guy with brown hair, and these awesome fight scenes, everything about the game looked amazing, to the point I was like, yeah again, I went straight to my mum, I was like, mum, please, mum, dad, whoever, somebody get me this game, I want to play, it was back when Woolworths was still about, like if you're British and you know what Woolworths is, then you know it was a, it was a while ago, so I was like, I want this game, I'm getting this game, one way or another, I'm getting this game, I got it, and that was the first time I ever really learned how to sit down, and cut like trial and error. Ha! Huh. Like, when you see people do like Dark Souls playthroughs and they're just constantly dying and getting killed and what over and over and over again, that was me on Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, that was the game that I truly like, if I lost, I would be back at it. I always remember this one one boss called Demtrix. Like, I could never understand that. I, the first time, basically, I did like multiple playthroughs. This is how you know when you like a game, if you can play it once and then go back to it again and then go back to it again. The first playthrough I killed them tricks like really easily, like, like a PNG, just so you understand who I'm talking about. Play him the first time, beat him easily, piece of piece, wipe the floor with the guy. Play through, play through, play through, carry on, you know. Got this other boss called Igsba, yet again, put a little picture there for you. He was a nuisance, I couldn't seem to beat him, I just couldn't seem to fucking beat him. I was like, but I kept going back, kept going back, kept going back, kept going back, I finally beat him, clocked the game. It was live. I was like, yes, winning, duh. Then I decided to play it again. Who told me to play it again? Dem tricks, bring him back. He fucking wiped the floor with me. When I finally beat him after like 50 tries, got to Igspar, expecting to have the hardest battle of my life, beat him easily. I was like, RPGs, fucking, they'll, they'll, they'll kick you in the balls when you don't even realize it. Number four. Okay, so if we're gonna go on to my fourth game, it would probably be S4 League. Bullshit. Why? Now before everyone, <laughs> I can't know, I know, I know, I know, it's not in the same real titles as the likes of Sonic, Kingdom Hearts, or even Pokemon, but for me, personally, that was my game. That was a game that was like, I always went back to. I have destroyed technology over that game. Like, my friends love to, like, Ryan, who you've seen in one of my videos. And Never. My other friends have all called me on it before. I was like, I got so upset with that game that I ended up breaking my laptop. Like legit, just playing like in my in my nan's living room, playing it on my like little shitty Acer laptop. Just going and going and going. And I was just getting stressed, 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 stressed. I could feel it. I could feel like Ugh! to the point that we end up like we end up scoring a goal against us. And I was like, fuck this. I just I just punched my laptop like literally straight screen punched it shattered the screen and then I got angry at the fact that I got angry at the game I mean I got angry at the fact that I got angry that I punched my laptop and I just ended up destroying it like literally destroyed it like that might sound mad and I have to admit it is mad but it showed me that I really love the game that's why so I'm upset I am kind of upset that it's died now but at the same time it's like I'm kind of happy it has because I can't be dealing with that level of stress anymore. S4 League, definitely number four. Definitely one of the games that really got me into gaming as a whole. So then, number five, what should I put as this? Like, there's, there's many games that I played, like the original Call of Duties, they're amazing. This game I used to play on PlayStation 1 called Pandemonium was like the first game I ever got that could be as well. Even down to like, even down to like little shitty games like Solitaire, I like, I spent hours on that, like just playing Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, I love it. I have to admit, the number one game for me, which really taught me patience, that taught me the real definition of what grinding is, and like why I love and hate games at the exact same time, would have to go to the one, the only, and that is World of Warcraft. I can already see the comments now like, really, World of Warcraft? It just is what it is. World of Warcraft is an amazing game. It, it gripped me at the height of its success, which was, to me anyway, was Wrath of the Lich King, and I come around about, if I remember correctly, I came out mid-season, out, it's got past its old bug, bug stage, it was in a solid, solid state, and like we had a few, I think we had like at least another four months worth of like pre-cataclysm, so the Wrath of the Lich King was well and truly in its like 
ball force. It was the time of my life. It was legit the time of my life. Like I've never played a game where I, where I spent so much time just getting so in involved. It was like I felt like I was involved with it. Like when when my character leveled up, I actually genuinely felt happy. And then like when I got new gear, I just felt I was just like yes, all this hard work is finally paying off. It's just amazing. Like honest to God. The feeling that I had when I used to play World of Warcraft, I, I can never recreate. I've played it again since, like in what's the latest one called? Warlords of Draenor, and then they had another one after that. I can't even remember it. Like, like with all the demon hunters and that, and it was fun, but it just wasn't the same. That's why World of Warcraft at one point was more addictive than like crack. I think it was. I get that. I understand that. But yeah, World of Warcraft definitely one of the games that got me into gaming hardcore, like sitting down and actually grinding out and yeah that's my little gaming history i guess but yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you like this new little different angle sort of thing i'm not just sitting in front of my screen with my headphones on like talking about call of duty gun games and whatnot but like, i love i've always loved watching people's vlogs i've always loved like seeing what everyone gets up to in their days and like what they want to talk about like this kind of just came to me as you probably guess from the way I do my videos I don't really do much pre plan I kind of like to just leave it as natural as possible like I practically thought of all of those on the spot so yeah but they are all true though. they are all games that I played you've either seen me play them or like it's just common sense like the Pokemon one Sonic it was either going to be Sonic or Mario for me I'm, like I said I'm, I'm within that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, I am a millennial so just the way it works but yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more vibes like this, comment down below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you haven't already. And if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? And if you've got anything you, you, want, to, you want me to talk about, comment it down below as well. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. That was different.